The original concept of radar can be traced back to the late 1800s, but it was really the military that first capitalized on the technology. American and British soldiers in World War II used radar to detect enemy ships and, more importantly, their bombers and fighter planes. And I think radar was instrumental in preventing the Nazis from being able to invade uh, the island of, of Great Britain. Chuck Stout, curator of the Wings Over the Rockies Museum, says radar technology was first put on display at the Battle of Britain, an air battle that he says turned the tide of the war. Winston Churchill paid tribute to the far outnumbered Allied fighter pilots that claimed a victory that day. And he said, never in the field of human conflict was so much owed by so many to so few. Even just saying that right now chokes me up. Stout says the unsung heroes of that battle were the radar operators that located the enemy. And those same operators noticed that it wasn't just the enemy aircraft showing up on their radars. They noticed that some other echoes appeared on their screens while there were storms in the area. At first, they discarded them as clutter. And that was the beginning of weather radar because what had been a nuisance and an unwanted clutter became something that you could actually use to find weather and avoid it. So almost by accident, weather radar was born in a time of war where the pressure to advance technologies was a matter of life and death. On behalf of myself and the Wings Over the Rockies Air and Space Museum, I really want to thank our veterans. I really appreciate the work that you do and thank you for your service. Meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.